right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power, and we've got a bunch, a bunch of interesting stories for you guys today. The first story that I have, probably my favorite story of the video, Hafthor Bjornsson, a.k.a. The Mountain. His recent deadlift PR, and not just a PR, but also an unofficial world record, the heaviest deadlift pulled without a suit. So he recently deadlifted 480 kilograms, which equates to 1,058 pounds. Now, let me give you a couple reasons why this is cool. Number one is he's just under four weeks out from the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic, where he's going to be competing in that deadlift event and attempting to break the record held by Eddie Hall of a 500-kilogram deadlift, which is 1102, 1102 pounds. So the impressive thing here is you would think that a guy like Hafthor at this point in his training for arguably the biggest strongman competition of the year wouldn't be maxing out or hitting one rep maxes this close to the competition. So the really impressive thing about this deadlift, number one, it's an unofficial world record, crazy amount of weight, did it without a suit, over a thousand pounds, but he's still obviously got some gas left in the tank and he's leaving some gas in the tank for the Arnold Strongman Classic, in particular, the deadlift event where he really wants to excel. And again, he's kind of got this rivalry with Eddie Hall that goes a little bit deeper than just the deadlift. They wanted to actually fight each other, and that might be something that we see happen in 2021. But I'm sure that fight is going to be a lot more interesting if he does break Eddie Hall's all-time world deadlift record of 500 kilograms. Now, after Eddie set that record, it remained pretty much untouchable from that point forward. But at under four weeks out from the Arnold Strongman Classic, Hafthor Bjornsson seems to be knocking on that door. And I think we could possibly see a new deadlift record held by the mountain, Hafthor Julius Bjornsson. Now, next up in the news, we have Big Rami. So lately, Big Rami's been the talk of the town getting ready for the 2020 Arnold Classic. All aboard the Big Rami hype train is leaving the station. So there's been all this talk, all this speculation about how Big Rami's physique may or may not be looking, whether physique updates are recent or not from years past or this current year. Everybody's talking about how his physique is looking at this point in his prep. However, one thing not a lot of people are talking about is Big Rami's face. Big Rami right now has the death face. His face is sucked up, sunken in, and looks like a man that's been through hell as far as dieting is concerned. So to be honest, this is something that I've never really seen from Big Rami to this extent. We've seen Big Rami in shape before. We've seen him conditioned before, but I've never seen him with his face looking like this. In fact, really in modern bodybuilding, we've been complaining about conditioning not being as good. And I think it's very rare nowadays you see modern bodybuilders with the quote unquote death face. And Big Rami right now at under four weeks out already has it. So I'm assuming it's going to be even worse or even more pronounced the day of the show in March of 2020 in just under four weeks. So could this be the most important foreshadowing of how Big Rami is going to look in Columbus? All these physique pictures that may or may not be recent, all these little hints and updates and training videos, but could the most important indicator end up being how his face is looking at four weeks out? I don't know, man, but I'm into it. I've fallen victim this year to the Big Rami hype train. I'm excited to see him compete, honestly. Um, people think I'm not a fan of Big Rami, but I am. I would love to see him win the Arnold. I would love to see him go on to the Olympia, especially with this new ownership. Who knows who's going to be at the 2020 Mr. Olympia? It could be a very exciting one, especially if you have Rami there, Phil Heath, Sean Roden, Kai Green. Who knows? But if you guys couldn't tell, I'm excited for the 2020 Arnold, and you should be as well. Now, next up in the news, you guys are going to love this one. This one's an exclusive just for you guys. So, Andrew Jacked getting ready for his first bodybuilding show ever. He's the training partner of Larry Wheels and a parent genetic freak. Um, he's gained a lot of uh, followers on Instagram lately. A lot of people talking about him. He's one of my most requested video subjects. Very popular guy, it seems, in the bodybuilding world, especially from a speculation standpoint of how fast he's going to turn pro, et cetera, et cetera. And he's going to be competing in Ohio, I believe, in three weeks. Now, the number one question, the number one speculation in a lot of my videos about Andrew is where are the legs? What are the legs looking like? The upper body looks great. He's got great genetics, great potential, great muscle bellies. But we have not seen his legs. 
Now, I do have a secret source that has sent me some exclusive pictures, never before seen, never posted on social media, of Andrew Jack's current physique, including what his legs are looking like. And without further ado, here they are. So his legs are pretty good. I mean, from a proportional standpoint, I mean, from a size standpoint, they look pretty comparable to his upper body. I think they could use a little bit more separation, but again, he's got some more time and a couple more weeks um, to dial that in. But I would say from a size standpoint, they're pretty on par with the upper body, so it's not something I'm worried about at this point. And honestly, I think he's going to do pretty well. I think there's a high probability that he's going to win the overall title at his first ever bodybuilding show. Um, and his road to turning pro will probably be a pretty quick one, a pretty short one. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Andrew Jack's full physique, including his legs. And bless me with a thumbs up on this video for giving you guys the exclusive Andrew Jack legs content that nobody else seems to be able to get. Now, next up in the news, Kai Green. Now, I originally wasn't going to report this because the mysterious Kai Green has a history of confusing us with his magical wordplay and his poetic little hints at a comeback to the Olympia. But in light of the recent news of the new Olympia ownership, I think this is a story that I could report now. Because look, it's been no secret that Kai has had an issue with the people behind the Olympia. Um, I believe when Kai originally had his issues, Robin Chang was still running the Olympia. Robin Chang's been gone for a few years now. And now the owners, AMI, are gone. And you have this new owner, Jake Wood. So in case you've been living under a rock, the Olympia was sold this past weekend from AMI and David Pecker to a guy named Jake Wood. And Jake Wood is the guy responsible for Wings of Strength and the comeback of female bodybuilding. He's just kind of an independently wealthy dude. He's interested in bodybuilding. Um, he's trying to breathe some new life into the sport. So now, in light of these recent changes, it makes this post by Kai Green that much more interesting and that much more intriguing. So Kai Green posted this photo with the caption, Hell of an off-season, never too old to scratch an itch. So Kai Green hints pretty much every year about a possible comeback. But this year um, is a little bit different with the new ownership. I'm still very skeptical about the possibility of Kai Green coming back. But obviously, the interesting thing about that caption is the term off season and to have an off season you have to have an on season so could kai green be referring to the past several years that he's been out of the game as his off season and now he's coming back to the new olympia with the new ownership in 2020 to scratch that old itch of wanting to win that title or as my viewers want me to speculate could he be preparing for Athleticon 2020, or as we should call it now, the Icon World Classic that was also recently announced. That is the name of the official IFBB Pro Show portion of Athleticon, the Icon World Classic. So if Kai were to compete there, it would be in this Icon World Classic. And listen, man, I like Kai. He's one of the biggest names in bodybuilding. I think his comeback would be extremely exciting, but I'm not going to get my hopes up, and I'm not going to get your guys' hopes up, but I'm just going to put it out there that Kai Green put up this post Referring to an offseason, scratching an itch. You've got major changes this year in both Athleticon and the Olympia with this new ownership. It's a possibility, so I'm going to throw it out there. Now, next up in the news, in a recent physique update of Nathan Diasha as he prepares for the 2020 Arnold Classic, um, famous bodybuilding guru and coach Neil Yoda Hill left a scathing comment on that physique update, simply stating, If this is the real look, that Nathan is holding at three weeks out, then there's zero magic about it. He's not going to be contest ready, and he looks like he's eight weeks out with some interesting little emojis there. And of course, the magic comment was due to the fact that Nathan had that magic mirror comment or caption on his uh, physique update there, the front double bicep. So what do you guys think in the comment section below? If this is a recent photo of Nathan, do you think he's ready or do you think he's not? I actually like Nathan, and I'm a fan of his physique, um, but I just honestly don't think he's had enough time to prep for this particular show. I mean, I don't think he's going to be as dangerous in this lineup because these guys have had a longer time to prep than Nathan has had. And I'll throw in one final story for you guys today. My buddy Antoine Viant sent me these posing videos weighing 280 pounds as he prepares for the Arnold Classic South America. 
And honestly, I think Antoine looks extremely impressive, especially for a near 300-pound guy. He's got very impressive legs. He's got a very tight midsection, great abs for someone that weighs 280 pounds. And I'm really hoping to see him do well at this Arnold South America. He's a great guy. He's always been super cool, super friendly to me. And he's got a great physique. He's a great bodybuilder. He's got a great story. Um, and I'd love to see him do well here. So shout out to Antoine Vaillant. Let me know in the comment section below how you think Antoine is looking in this video here. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. I hope you guys have a great long weekend, a great President's Day if you live in America. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did, in fact, enjoy it. And please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. And as always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.